um, and it's changed his life dramatically. Since locomotor training, he is able to push himself in a manual wheelchair. He is able to take some steps with a walker in a controlled environment. He has gained the muscle mass in his legs, um, almost to the point where he was before his injury. Yanni and I attribute most of the function that he has regained to his doing locomotor training. Hussam has improved on several fronts. His postural alignment has improved, so he stands straighter on the treadmill. His upper body strength has increased uh, quite a bit, so he's much more independent. He can do a lot more things on his own. Since he started going to the next step, he's more active. Now he's a little bit more muscular upper body. He's, he's in good shape uh, physically. He's participating in um, activities at school, PE, you know, different things like that. So to me, that's an improvement, that he's not just on the sidelines anymore. He's actually in the game. Hussam is just really his uh, overall uh, positive attitude and just his sense of humor and um, I think really he just uh, he's a very uplifting kid. <laughs> I think it's easier for me to go through my injury at an older stage in my life um, than it is for somebody who's so young to deal with. Middle school until high, through high school I can't imagine some of the challenges that he faces but he faces them head, you know, head on and with a very positive attitude. Despite him being so young, it's something I really look up, you know, look up to him for, and uh, he definitely lift my, lifts my spirits every time I hang out with him. Those are my best. Uh huh. Exactly. You want? You want? I'll give it to you. I like to think that Chris would be very, very excited about the changes yeah. that uh, patients who go through the program are experiencing. To this point, there's hundreds of people who've received locomotive training who could not walk before and now can walk. The majority aren't walking like they walked before the injury, but the ability to even take a few steps changes your life dramatically. We already know enough to improve the lives of a lot of individuals. In fact, one of the big problems is getting this knowledge out to the community so the community can take advantage of it. The one incredible thing about locomotive training is that we've seen it come full circle now. From research on the animals in the lab setting to the clinical setting in the hospital-based centers, and now into the community. You know, we have a great life. He has done an amazing job with Next Step, provided the hope that Dr. Harkema provided to us and passed that on. Our vision is to have a Next Step in every community that needs one across the country.
I dove in, I went head first and uh, basically just ran straight into a sandbar and a uh, direct impact with the top of my head. Um, and I fractured my C5-6 vertebrae and just instantly paralyzed. People um, surrounding someone on the ground and you could tell that um, there was a sense of urgency, there was commotion. My name is Shanaz Malik and uh, I have uh, three kids and uh, Hassam is the youngest one. It feels uh, in his heart that uh, he has uh, certain limitations. He, he never complains about it. I like to play video games a lot. What 12-year-old boy doesn't? And um, sports. My dad's been here for, I think, over 25 years, and my mom less than that. I think my dad's more westernized than my mom, though. My name is Ricky Ginto, and I'm a paraeducator, which means I'm a one-on-one -on -one aide. Um, so it's been my third year with Assam. I started with him when he was in fourth grade. Working for another company here in Los Angeles, and I was doing that for four years as a North American director. I knew that it was going to be a very long battle early, and that um, we focused on recovery. We provided locomotive training based on the evidence we had right now. But he was in California and asked if he could visit the laboratories of Dr. Reggie Edgerton and Dr. Susan Harkema. One of the things I learned from him very quickly <laughs> was uh, the urgency. A typical session for Hussam consists of coming in and getting prepped for the treadmill session. 